My name is Sonia Gorau and I'm a PI at the Institute of Biology at the École Normale Supérieure. So my lab focuses on understanding how forebrain circuits, and in particular the neocortex, wires up during development. During its formation, the neocortex undergoes a dramatic growth. And how it deals with this phenomenon is largely unknown. In this study, we focused on that issue by looking at Cajal Reggio cells. Hi, my name is Cristina Álvarez de Frutos. I'm a postdoctoral fellow and the main contributor to this paper. Let me tell you why I am interested in Cajal Reggio cells. Cajal Reggio cells are transient inhabitants of the future Rayer 1 which in the mature neocortex comprises apical dendrites of pyramidal neurons in common inputs and specific interneurons. They are early born, cover the entire developing neocortex and regulate wiring via the production of membrane-bound and secreted factors. They are produced by focal sources and migrate tangentially to rapidly cover the entire neocortical surface. But how do they maintain a dense distribution, considering that there is a limited number of cells for an expanding surface? To tackle this issue, we quantified cell density and found a surprising increase several days after their initial migration. We checked that this increase in density was not due to uh, the novo differentiation or generation of cajal reduced cells. So where are they coming from? We observe a potential reservoir of cajal reduced cells in the olfactory cortex around the main olfactory input. These cells have an elongated morphology, have been implicated in axon guidance, and are part of an olfactory proto-circuit. Time-lapse analysis allow us to see that these cells retract their long processes and initiated migration away from this reservoir into the neocortex. This unexpected secondary migration is essential to maintain cajal reduced cell density and is regulated by activity and MMDA receptors. But is this process important for neocortex development? To answer this question, we have analyzed different mouse models in which we decrease or increase cajal reduced cell density. We found an impact on several aspects of layer 1 architecture, its thickness, axonal composition, interneurons and apical dendrites of pyramidal neurons. We focus on the model with 30% reduction, which survived postnatally and consistently maintain a defect as presented here for layer 1 thickness. Hi, my name is Guy Bouvier. I'm a PhD student at the Economic Superior. And in this story, we investigated if changes in cardiac cell density could have a long-lasting impact on cortical circuits. To answer this question, I characterize layer 2 3 pyramidal cells looking at morphological aspects as spine density, but also at electrophysiological properties using layer 1 stimulation of the somatosensory cortex. We found abnormal dendritic tag, reduction in spine density, and an imbalance in excitation inhibition ratio, showing that the reduction in density has a long lasting impact in the wiring of functional cortical circuits. Our study reveals that neurons re-enter migration several days after their initial positioning, thereby performing sequential developmental function in the olfactory cortex and in the neocortex. This cellular recycling is actually essential because it controls the density of cajal reduced cells, which in turn ensures the proper wiring of neocortical circuits.